city of doing business. Starting up something, having a dream, starting up something that you really know you are passionate about, and actually following up to a successful level. Sincerely speaking, I've also been told that with e-commerce, sorry, with uh, electronic media and what have you, you can reach your target market and make good money. Making good money, obviously, will lead you to sources. And that is one thing I cannot forget about today, about this uh, program. Thank you, Thank you very much, sir. Um, please, while I call others, our focus is really on the summit, and it's better we just focus on that. So um, before I call you, sir, let me just call. Madam, please let me call her, the lady in orange. Yes, please come up stage. So remember, tell us your name, your business name, where you are coming from, and what you've learned, because that's going to help us out to know where we stand. So please don't really focus too much on what you do and all that. Let's just know what you've learned so far in this past two days. Thank you. Please come. Please let's appreciate her. Good morning. Uh, thank you for calling me, Sha. Because this is a privilege. My name is Bolajito Sintimilola. I'm a cosmetologist at the same time, an event planner. But um, being here is just an answer to all my questions. In fact, I don't know how to start and I don't know how to end it, but you did a great job. In fact, to all the youths, it's a great job. Because there are some things we are scared of going into. But with this expo, we are exposed to the right way and the right manner to do it. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Um, I really like the word she said. With this expo, we are exposed to so many. I think we should tweet that, the media. That's really nice. What's your name again, ma'am? Bolajitosi. And please just give out the credits. Thank you so much. And sir, please come up stage. That's the spirit, because you're also encouraging us that we've not really wasted our time and resources. It's really, really, um, it means a lot to us. So thank you. Good morning, ma'am and sir. Uh, my name is Timothy Oyekunle. Uh, I will say I am in this expo by accident. I did not know. Somebody just called me. From uh, from uh, I was in Oshudbo, the person coming from Ibadan to register, and I did. And I'm thanking God that I did, because uh, as far as business is concerned, I have a lot of uh, uh, boundaries and limitations in my mind, things that uh, I have conceived that these are the things that will not allow me, that will not, uh, not uh, make me to make move to do some of the business that I had in mind or to follow some of the passions that are in my mind. But in the course of this uh, expo summit, I've learned that those things are just existing in my imagination. They were not there. Uh, by the realities of what I am seeing, I'm seeing that, for example, there are things that I thought that I need millions to do. And I've discovered that I don't need those kind of money or that kind of money to do those things. That by, by just employing e-commerce and employ minimum minimum amount of money to accomplish so much. So I want to say that this summit has fully achieved the purpose and it's been a blessing and I'm, I, I pray God that more people will be exposed to this. In fact, I was telling my wife yesterday that if I had known, I would have made herself and someone else to come. You know, but I know that there will be some other times. Thank God. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. I'm coming to you, ma. Please, ma. Good morning, everybody. I'm Mrs. Bola Omidiji, coordinator of Association of Nigerian Women in Business. Since Monday, I learned a lot, in which I believe I will still step it down to my people in businesses. Now I have a challenge for convener. Before we leave here, is it possible to group people based on their job? Because networking is the key. So that we will not end here today and you start struggling again. 
way forward. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for that um, thoughtful um, suggestion. Um, I'm sure that we would um, try and check that out if that's going to be possible. It's really not a bad idea because a follow-up really, really matters. And when it comes to networking, it makes things easier for us because um, with the technology, we can really help each other to grow. So like she's saying, once we have different groups, it means that you can keep sharing your ideas, your products, you can help each other to grow. And standing on that, please and please follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's X Summit Expo NG. And you can also, especially when you are posting something, maybe you want to post your comments or your experience so far, please use hashtag Summit Expo NG, please. It's very important so that we can see whatever thing you are sharing or anything you even want us to know, we'll be able to get it. So thank you very much, while I call the next person. Madam. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Tokpe Onigbanjo. I run Tonix Ice Enterprises. I came all the way from Lagos. I'm very, very glad I took the opportunity to be here. I actually belong to some WhatsApp group for agro-commerce, and that's how I came about the information about this summit. One of the groups I belonged on placed the ad, and then I just applied and I got it. I do not regret being here at all, apart from all that I've learned. It also afforded me a time to bond with some family members I haven't seen in over 20 years. Because coming in from Lagos, I was going to stay in an hotel. And then my brother just said, why don't you call on these people there in Ibadan? So that's one of the social effects of this course. I really thank the organizers. But apart from that, I had actually started registration on the Jumia being a seller. And then I got tedious about the whole thing. I got discouraged and then I abandoned it. But now with this information and enlightenment, it's something I would definitely go back to because I got really, really tickled with the fact that in just three months, somebody could do turnover of 69 million just by being a seller and then not having a brick and mortar structure, not having all those overheads, that is definitely the way to go. So a big thanks and a kudos to you. Thanks. Thank you very much, ma'am. Please, let's appreciate her. I really like what she said. You know, um, sometimes information is key. If you don't have an information, you won't really know what you are missing. And an, an, another part that I really liked was when she said she was able to meet you know, um, long time, you know, family member. Because I remember um, a man was talking to me yesterday. He comes from Ilorin every day and he goes back. And he said that, you know, it's also like an avenue for him to be able to meet with his parents. So it means that it wasn't just the summit. People are also able to meet their loved ones over a period of time. So, sir, please come up. I'll come back to you now. Good morning, everyone. My name is Owadi Abdurrahman, the co-founder of Boye World International. Um, this expo has actually, uh, they say no man is an island of knowledge, but it has given us the opportunity to become an island of networks whereby we can obtain all the knowledge we need to achieve what we want to achieve in our businesses. Thank you very much. Sir, please come up. Good morning, all. My name is Ogba Kelvin Dafiago from Delta State. I must say I'm really excited to be here. Learned a lot over these past few days. But one of the most remarkable things I learned was when one of the speakers made me to understand that Donald Trump have been in business for over five decades, why Microsoft Mark Zuckerberg has been in business for less than, okay, the Facebook is less than 10 years. And if we compare the wealth of Mark Zuckerberg and that of Donald Trump, he went as far as telling us about the many buildings 
Donald Trump has in various countries, that the, that the buildings are so big, but yet there's not much money there. But look at Mark Zuckerberg, who is online doing his business and the kind of world. So it actually challenged me to go home and think differently. But my major pain and advice is that the bulk of the people that get to hear this are insignificant. In Nigeria today, many, many, many people are passive participants of the economy. How do we carry this message? How do we take this message to the millions of people who don't know about the internet, banking? And I was thinking, is there a way we could bring these people that talk to the mass, sis, like the pastors, the ministers, and bring them here? So that this knowledge I've gotten, I don't keep it to myself. Or as we go to our various churches and homes and schools, spread the message. If we all are disinformed, I tell you, Nigeria will be a better place. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, we really believe that each and every one of you are ambassadors for this program because you are the one that can also influence others on what you've learned. And, um, you know, you can say it better than when we keep saying it. So even if we bring another 1,000 people, imagine you speaking to 10 people and we multiply it by the 1,000. It's a whole lot. It's, it's a pay, paid forward system. So we're truly hoping that you will not just learn, you know, what you've learned in this past two days and what you're going to learn today and just go back home and keep it all to yourself. You have the Facebook, you have the Instagram, you have your website to just share the information to as many people as you can. And we also hope that um, we'll be able to get support for us to be able to do more. I mean, the, the man behind this is someone, this is what he loves to do. So, of course, if we get people that want this to keep going forward, it is possible. Anything is possible. Madam, please come. Good morning, everybody. My name is Olayinka Farumini. I'm one of the staffs of um, Spice Lee's NG with fashion designing. Well, I came here with a very high expectation. I have been thinking narrowly, but when I got here, my thoughts has been broadened. Uh, like the first speaker, that's Max NG, told us then, I remembered, he said, when doing an agreement, on letting people know your ideas, that put up a lawyer to do it with the person first. That's the first thing that caught me here because I've been giving ideas and people listen to my idea and then they jack it up, try to do it and then mess it up without. But when he said it, he said, put up a lawyer in an agreement even before you let out your idea. That really caught me. And then the Daddy Folai now finalized it saying, Synergy. Those two words I can't forget. My, my idea in fashion is not just paddling machine alone. I'm seeing an a ICT thing in, the, in, in fashion. So, and I'm not an ICT person. I studied English, so I don't know how to go about it. But when he said synergy, I remember I had a long-time friend in this same Ibadan that is, is, is a brain in ICT. Immediately yesterday, I just took it up and I'm on the move. Also, with the exhibition stand, when I was walking around, when I came in, I was like, I didn't have so much money, I didn't plan for this. What am I going to be buying here? And then, moving on a tour in manufacturing also, someone just linked me, I saw that the stand, also there's a place where we could save up and then go on a fashion tour to as far as India. In fact, there's a lot to say about this program. It's been a wonderful experience. God, God bless the, the people who have packaged this. God bless you. Thank you very much. I'm sure that um, they're all listening to you. Um, <laughs> I know a lot of you want to talk, but luckily we still have time. So we'll be able to take as many of you to talk. And we are happy that you are also expressing yourself. You know, we two are already thinking that this is really worth it. It wasn't really a waste of time. So um, in case you want to have breakfast, don't forget, um, you can get it at the back of the hall and, you know, you can still come and continue to listen to all this. And um, I'm going to call the next person. Before I call you, sir, let me just call ma'am, ladies first. <laughs> so please come up stage. 
Well, I'm so happy to be here today. Actually, you know, today is my birthday, so it's a, this is a special gift for me. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate you. You know, I am Kola Wale Adura uh, You know, my husband is here too. I just, we saw it. That's my husband now. Yeah. I'm so happy, you know. It's, it's like a veil. You know, when it seems as if there is a veil that covers you, and you now remove that veil, that is what it was. It has been a great thing. I really appreciate the, you know, those that organize this. I really appreciate you, sir. Thank God. God will bless you and increase you. You've done a lot, I'm telling you. Because I know that as we have come here, you know, my husband is a pastor too. You know, I know that uh, the, you've, you've imparted churches like that. Two of us coming here, you know, the whole congregation has been imparted. I really bless God. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you very much. That's very good to hear. So that's why if you have an idea, just go through it. I'm sure that you know that the convener of this idea would have lots of challenges, but they decided to just go ahead and do it. And now we're so happy that even thousands of people, you will be able to reach out to them. That's the beauty of it. And I know that he's deeply happy listening to each and every one of you. And, you know, say all this. So we really, really appreciate it. Sir, please come. Let's, let's appreciate him, please. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. I'm Inji Kolawali Tessi. Um, fortunately, the last speaker or the last person that spoke happens to be my wife. <laughs> In fact, I really want to thank um, Reverend Francis. I've known him for a while now through my spiritual father. And each time I come to these premises, something just ignites in my spirit. And uh, I want to thank God for his life and for the team that put this program together. I'm an engineer by profession and I'm into real estate. I do not want to come because I'm always busy on the field. She said, wherever you are now, leave whatever you are doing and come. Reluctantly, I came, and since that day, I switched off my phone and everything, and I stick to this place. I really want to thank God that I did that, and I thank God for the opportunity that I was given. And I want to use this opportunity to say to my wife, happy birthday, I love you. Oh. <laughs> That's so wonderful. So it means that it's, it's like a whole 360 degree. You know, you get to learn. There's love in the hair. And, uh, you know, people get to connect with their family. How amazing. This is really, really good. Um, so, um, sir, just give me one more person. Let me just call him, then I'll call you next. Okay? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Wow. Wow. This is awesome. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Adini Adebola I want to especially thank um, Pastor Francis Madujemu. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for this opportunity. This, this has been wow. Um, I, I do quite a lot of things. Um, I represent two things here today. One is, uh, let, me, let me advertise my shirt, Dr. Triple A. That's uh, my name that I used to speak. I'm a career success coach, and I also run uh, a group of businesses, uh, Potter's Touch Services. Uh, where we actually sell food, do education, and some other things. This has been very powerful for me. Uh, two speakers really, really clicked with me. One was when Shubomi talked, and she was talking about the various things. I was like, so I, I just got home that day, and I just picked up my phone, and I called my social media guy, my website, my web guy, and I said, you know what? Enough of talk. It's time for action right now. So... In fact, after today, we're having a meeting to strategize and do things. Because I noticed that we just pick up knowledge, but we never really do something with it. So I said to myself, it's action time. So I just started writing down. And then when um, the other speaker spoke yesterday, the man from Raleigh Academy, when I saw the figures, my first degree is in statistics. I remember those figures in my head. 401, I mean, 58 something. I was like, God. This is real. So I said to myself, it's time to do something about it. And I'm not going to keep quiet also. I'm going to organize programs where 
this will also, and I always tell them that it was, I got this information at Summit Expo NG. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Um, we are very excited knowing that this is really going to go to so many places. You know, they usually say that little drops of water makes an ocean, and this is just a perfect example for that. So we, are, we will keep looking forward to what each and every one of you will do, but please don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. It's Summit Expo NG. And when you're posting anything or you are sharing, kindly add hashtag summit expo ng so that we can follow you and see what you're doing i'll come to you ma'am let me just give it to sir thank you hashtag summit expo ng good morning everybody okay my name is uh, okay wanko um I'm happy to be here. In the first place, I will say that I'm one of those that have strong aversion for social media. But I think that notion has been changed here because of um, the positive aspect that the platforms can be used. I remember some times back, a couple of years ago, I bought a laptop for the first time after connecting into the internet. Just the first day I wanted to use it, a picture of a half-naked you know, woman came up. Since that day, I had in mind that this is not a place for, I'm a pastor. It's not good for a pastor. So I cut off. But I just called my PA two days ago. I said, set up a media platform. Ah, it's true because I, each time, even in the church, you see little kids using their phone, typing and things like that. And I said, is there no way that these children can be positively occupied by this. I want to just recommend that in addition to bringing adults, mainly adults, it should be segmented in such a way that you bring up youths, maybe age brackets, 15 this, and expose them to this. Let them know it's not only using it to send evil messages among themselves. Even while in school, they can be so rich by what we have had. So it's a very good platform. The education is so enormous. Um, the man that said that we just, is it write it down? Something like that. Really impressed me. That you don't need to have the goods for you to start marketing. You can leverage on those that already have it. You don't need to have the shop. You can just go to the Igbo people at their computer village have an agreement and pick, I don't owe the computer. I never knew, most of them are my brothers and they have big computer stores. I didn't know I can just do a lot of things by that. So I want to thank the pastor that initiated this to let us know that being a pastor is not only dealing with demons and principalities and powers, you know. So it's amazing, it's amazing. Uh, Oh, yes, ah, because it, we, you can spend the whole time praying and you die a poor person, yes. you know. So here, he said that imagination is key. Mine is, my own imagination is wired. Couple with now, Holy Spirit will give me more to combine it. I make a lot of, because I have a lot of job to do in my churches. So I want to thank you, sir, that uh, there are more to it than just um, you know, casting and uh, binding. Uh, God bless you so much. Thank you very much, sir. I mean, that's, that's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. And um, I, I hope a lot of people will be able to listen to this. Because social media can really be used well. You just need to know how to use it. 
And um, thank you very much, sir, for being sincere. It's been wonderful. And I know that now you would know how to use it well, the technology. That's really wonderful. And um, ma'am, please come off stage. It's been wonderful. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. In short, appreciate, appreciate yourselves, please. <laughs> it's been wonderful. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Christiana Adiosho. I'm a caterer and a farmer. I want to thank God for this place. I appreciate Pastor, even though he doesn't want us to call him Pastor for this, because that's one of the things that really interests me. When we got here on Monday, he said he doesn't want to be a pastor here. He wants to just be Mr. Amadou Jemu because of the passion he has for people. Because what we've learned here over in the last three days has been really, really awesome. And it takes someone that has passion and is passionate for people to come out of ignorance and poverty. Because what we, are, what we have learned here over these past days is really going to liberate a lot of people. Because you know that you don't have limitation. And one of the, power, the speakers said, if you can't make it in Nigeria, you can't make it in America. You can't make it anywhere else in the world because we have a lot of challenges here. Why Zuckerberg is making, making a lot of money is because he's, he's been able to uh, discover something that could be of benefit to everybody. And you can interact with anybody anywhere in the world. And so everybody needs it. Beyond uh, electricity or anything, you can reach out to anybody wherever you are and you can make a lot of money. And then I also learned that there's no boundaries to where you can go. It, be, it begins with you. If you have a choice to make it, then with passion, you can be anywhere. And then I also learned someone, something from uh, Michael, the German. When he showed that chart of when you begin a business, you have uh, a mindset that this is how I'm going. But when you actually start, you find out that you are stuck. And if you don't have the passion for what you are doing, if you don't, if you are not focused, then you might not be able to move on. You have bridges, I mean, you go down, you come up, but if you are consistent with it, then the sky is not even the limit. Thank you so much for the organizer. We pray that the Lord will bless you. The Lord will have compassion on you as you've had compassion on us. And we pray that you'll be able to do more next year. Thank you very much, ma'am. Um, that's so wonderful. Thank you. Sir, please come up. Thank you very, very much. Hello, everybody. Pastor Francis, I thank you. I'm not surprised by what is coming out of you. I know a little bit of your background. We came from the same old church. So I know what was deposited in you. And I know that this is just a little out of it. More will come in Jesus' name. Um, my name is Dick Paul Adios. I'm a profession by, I mean, an accountant by profession and a farmer by occupation. In this place, in any business that we do, as we have learned, there's no area where you cannot think about connecting yourself with people, that is networking. Uh, one of the speakers here said yesterday that if your business is not on internet, then your business is out of, I mean, that you are out of business. In other words, we have learned a lot, particularly in the area of how to network, even with, with or without uh, working capital. Because this is one of the areas, particularly in the area of my process, we believe that before you set a business, you must have this working capital, you must have this asset, you know, before you can do a business. And uh, you will learn how to make a savings here and there. With this, with what has, I mean, what we learned here, I was telling my wife yesterday that uh, though this could be a program for about four years, which we are just, you know, brushing through 
in three days. But I tell you, with the knowledge that has been deposited in us before, and with some of us that are even skillful on this area of internet, this is an opportunity for us to continue in that step and continue to apply fashion to it. And I tell you, only the limit is the sky. And with what we are doing here, I really appreciate it. And I encourage I will, I will, I have others to be encouraged concerning everything that we are seeing here. Yesterday, my sister, you did a wonderful job yesterday for me. I can't forget it. It's part of, you know, what we are doing, there's a relationship that is being created. We were blocked yesterday. I called her. She came out and announced the car. It was the number of the car twice, and we were released. In fact, I appreciated it. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. We really, really appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. We have like seven.